Hi, this is Katie with CraftingWithKatie.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a little bouquet full of pinwheels. I made mine with a patriotic theme, but you could do them for any occasion. Okay, for my pinwheels, I actually used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out a pinwheel shape that I found in the Silhouette Studio online store. But you can easily make these yourself. All you need is a square, mine's a five and a half inch square, and you could just use a ruler to draw a line from corner to corner and then cut Tell you're about an inch from the center on each of the lines. Then you need to put punch a hole on one side. If you can see, this makes like a triangle right here. So if you put a hole on the left side of each triangle, so here, 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 and here, and one in the center, and you're good to go. So you don't actually need a die cutting machine. Okay, so now you're ready to start putting together your pinwheel once you have the shape made. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just choose one of the corners to start with and I'm using some Scotch quick dry glue. You want a strong glue. You could use your glue gun too if you wanted. I'm going to just use this and I'm going to go through and glue each of the corners that have the holes into the center so the holes line up with that center hole. Okay, so now we have our basic shape here. And for the next thing, I actually went ahead and used my cuddle bag to die cut these two shapes from the My Creative Time Build a Banner kit. So I've got the little star shape and the stitch circle. And I'm just going to adhere these together. And I'm going to be careful to not put any glue towards the center because that's where I'm going to be punching a hole and I don't want to get my hole punch any glue on it. So we'll put these together. This is just going to be a little extra thing to put in the center of the pinwheel. You don't need this step if you don't want it. And then I have a 1 16th inch hole punch. And I'm just going to punch that right in the middle. And then this is going to get adhered onto there. And to help me make sure that I have my holes lined up, I'm going to start from this side, but I'm going to flip this over, kind of look through to get that hole centered, and then just hold that together for a minute to get it nice and secure. Okay, for the next step, we're going to use these Wilton cookie sticks. They're the 8-inch ones. And this is what our um, stick for the pinwheel is going to be, but I'm going to actually decorate it with a little bit of washi tape. And this I got at, actually I'm use the polka dot. I got this at Target in the office supply section and it was a pack of four different styles that all have blue in them. And then they had something similar with red and I think they had green too, but they're out of it. And if you just take one of these, the length of the stick, try to center it, and just tear off at the end. This will actually roll around and can cover this completely. Just makes it a little bit more interesting than just having the plain white. And it's so easy. Just roll it up. Look, there we got a cute little polka dotted stick. All right. Now the thing about my pinwheels is even though I'm making a cute little bouquet, I also wanted them to be functional. So. I went through several different tutorials I found online and kind of played around and pretty much used a mixture of several to get my um, method here so that these spin really well. So what I have is some straight pins and these are some beads I got at Michael's and I've really torn up the, torn up the label so I'm not really sure who made You're them. I'm just going to take your straight pin and put one of the beads through it. And then that is going to go through the pinwheel itself from the front side. And on the back, you're going to put two more beads. When I originally tried this, I just had one bead. And that did not work very well because the pinwheel part ended up being flush against the stick and it wouldn't turn. So I have some nieces and nephews that are going to want to play with these. So it definitely needs to be able to spin. Okay, and then just take your hot glue gun and put a dab oops, 
right on the end of the stick. And then you're just going to take the pin with everything attached and push it right through. And the reason we're doing this with the glue is that I'm pretty sure these sticks are hollow and um, the pin will push through really easily, but it just doesn't feel really secure. So I thought a little drop of glue would help it. And then once you do that, you've got your pinwheel. Okay, now since I'm going to be bringing the pinwheels to my sister's house for the 4th of July, I thought it would be fun to have a cute little container that we could use to hold them and it would be a decoration until the kids start to play with them. So I had this jelly jar um, in my cupboard and I was able to get the use some gooby gone to get the label off of it. And I thought it might be fun to put some red burlap. This is the two and a half inch burlap from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. And I thought it would be fun to use that to wrap it around as part of um, decorating the jar. So I'm just going to figure out where to cut it. it. Looks like right about there. And this burlap is really fun. You can see I also have the more natural color and then this green, lime green, which I just love. And she also has one and a half inch. So, oh, this actually, this is the one and a half inch right here. Okay, so I have never used a glue gun with this and we'll see how it works but I think what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue down one side and then we'll figure out where we want that it's kind of centered oh yeah probably not the best idea to do that with bare hands because the Glue, of course, goes right through the empty spaces. It's a little hot. And then we are going to wrap that around and secure it on the back. Okay, I've got my little thumb protector. I don't know what you call this, but I ordered this mat and it came with these little protectors that um, are actually quite handy when you're doing something like this. So now I'm going to put the glue on to this part. Then we'll just wrap it around, make sure it's nice and tight. And that's nice, I can use that to press it down. So now I have some hemp also from Liz's Paper Loft. And I'm going to wrap some of that around there. Just to give it a little extra something, we'll wrap it around a few times. And I'm actually gonna hold off I'm tying it for a second because I want to make a little tag, a little 4th of July tag. So we'll just leave that. Okay, so I just went ahead and cut out this tag, also from the Build-A-Banner kit. And the stamp I'm going to use on it is this Happy 4th from the My Little Firecracker stamp set. So I think it's going to be a tight fit, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, because it's going to go onto the stitching, but we'll see. So I'm using some Paper Tray Ink Enchanted Evening Ink that inked up. And let's see how this works. Oh, that's actually pretty cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so I just went ahead and punched a hole into my tag and tied it with the hemp twine. And I think that looks really cute. And now inside of the jar, I want to fill it with some little bit of confetti. Okay, so I got some Paper Trank Enchanted Evening cardstock, and this is my Fiskars Paper Crimper. And I'm just going to tuck a little bit of it in, squeeze it tight, and then roll that through. And look how fun that is. Now I'm just going to use my paper cutter and trim off little strips of this. Ok, 
Okay, so I added my little paper strips in there. And the last step is to just go ahead and put in some of the pinwheels. So I've got about four here. I actually need to make some more. I think I need eight. So here we go. We have a cute little bouquet of pinwheels. And it's kind of hard to see in the video with the whole thing, but I will put pictures on my blog so you can see how it turned out. Thanks for watching.